Hey guys, welcome back. It is your favorite Gimple the Limp, and I'm here with just a, a quick announcement, just a heads up for you, letting you know Maladum has launched. They haven't sent me anything, they haven't given me anything. Trust me, I'd, I'd be thrilled. I'd be definitely announcing if they had. Uh, but as you can see, it's already popping off. They had, uh, what, a 60,000 goal. They've already blown that out, a couple thousand backers. Uh, I expect this one to do really well. First day is already gone really well. They've got uh, 20 days to go. And for those who don't know, which you should know because it's it's good, but this is the fantasy version of Core Space, right? So Core Space, one of my all-time favorites. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. Really cool stuff. Got a bunch of videos up on Core Space, but Maladum, Dungeons of Everon, is their fantasy version. Whole bunch of different stuff going on. Let's watch the video. Let you guys see their little preview of it, and then we'll show you what the what all comes with it. Huh? The world is not as it was. The ancient magic stirs within the earth, and their return heralds a new age of opportunity for those bold enough. For within the tombs and crypts of antiquity by the makings of legends. Untold prosperity, unspeakable peril, and the ever-present prospect of glory. The tales of your adventures will echo through the ages, and should your band of reprobates happen to save the world in the course of things, the better. Maladum, Dungeons of Enron, is two Kickstarter projects in one, bringing an incredible new game to the table, surrounded by our immersive terrain, or use the terrain to build a stunning new setting for any fantasy dungeon crawler. Maladum. Okay, I wanted to pause it here and let you guys see this picture real quick. Because if you've backed a, a core space game before, this should look very familiar to you. You've got your 2 by 2 neoprene mat, the selection of terrain, stuff, whatever goes across it. And they're, I can tell they're reusing some of the pieces, which... I fully anticipated with different uh, different designs, different uh, images on them. The cases are built the similar table uh, chairs, all built similar to how the ones that they have now are built. The pillars look almost uh, verbatim, exactly how they uh, how they're built now. So if you've built any of this terrain before, you're gonna you're already gonna know. You're gonna understand it uh, right off the bat. You can tell these cardboard pieces that are around the board that generally is where your enemies are going to spawn in. Uh, player boards here look very similar. We've got the, the player dashboards there across the top, whatever their their skill, their role is, a mercenary captain, uh, marksman, this stuff from core space, whatever their version thereof. And Maladum, that's what's going to be there. Your inventory is below that. And then... Below that, all those little pegs are your health, your mana, and your skill power, right? Your skill power is the any innate abilities you had. You, in core space, you had stuff like walk it off. God, I love walk it off. Get you a couple of health points back. Really cool stuff. Uh, but you could use those skill points to get things like free shots, or sometimes you gain some passive abilities that, that kind of stick with you. You don't have to use skills for it, which is always really good. Uh, rest of the stuff around it looks like we're going to have the same type of threat track meter which is uh, long story you'll see it if you play the game go check out my course based videos but uh, basically the more attacks and the more rounds that go by the higher that meter goes that's this thing on the left and the harder the enemies that come out during the scenario uh, looks like we've got npc dashboards hadn't really had those before what i don't see is dashboards for backpacks that was something new they had included in Core Space Firstborn. Would have liked to have seen that carried on over into Maladum because I think the back, uh, backpacks did really well. Uh, I don't like not seeing that in here, but is what it is. 
Uh, looks like we got cardboard measuring rulers in this one. I've got acrylic ones from Firstborn, so I'll probably be using those. Uh, huge selection of tokens. The dice, dice look like they're gonna operate the same way that they do now. There's few special types of dice. Uh, red dice are your generic ones. You have one blue die, so whenever you conduct an attack, you'll always roll at least the one blue die. And then for every uh, bonus, you get the extra red die. Red die are as powerful though. Uh, and as far as the enemies and hero characters go, that's what I'm assuming all of these here are. Maybe a few there across the, the map. Generally speaking, these games don't have buckets and buckets and buckets and buckets of minis. They have uh, a handful of minis, but you gotta think you're getting uh, good quality components and you're getting uh, a lot of terrain, right? You're getting this 3D terrain setup. Even if you get just the base set without the terrain, I'm getting the terrain because the terrain's friggin' awesome. But even if you don't get the, the, the high up terrain set, you still have this set, right? That you can put together in a multitude of different ways that gives you hallways and passageways and doors and rooms and, and chests and tables and all that other good stuff, right? You don't get that in those generic uh, dungeon explorer games, right? Where you're going through and you lay out this tile and this tile and this tile. You're just putting all the tiles together. This looks so much better on the board. It plays so much better on the board than just putting out a generic tile. Oh, let's take an explorer action. We have a new dungeon tile. Uh, it's flat. Of course, but uh, Maladum don't have that. Right, they have actual 3D terrain. You set up the maps beforehand. One of the pains in the butt, it takes a little while to set the game up, but it looks so much better uh, when they do. So you're gonna have less minis in something like this, but you're gonna have more game, right? If you really think about it, you get more game that you actually get to play than you would some of these other games that have buckets of tiles and minis, but it really, it doesn't feel different. It doesn't feel like anything, right? Anyway. Uh, rest of the components, uh, the bag over here is like uh, the bag where you'll, your tokens go in when you do like search actions. And then a few uh, tokens back over here and ones over here look like the ones that'll have like the enemy stats, stuff like that on. So let's hit play. Look at the rest of the little video here. It's a narrative tabletop game <coughs> one to four players. Built upon the mechanics of our best selling game, Core Space, Mandu offers the same simple mechanics interactive NPCs, and thrilling action. For you, we work for a compelling fantasy experience. Your band of adventurers must head deep into the subterranean vaults of Enveron to seek fortune and glory, while resisting the nefarious clutches of the Malagont. Maladum combines the best elements of the board, skirmish and RPG genres, to create a truly unique experience. The branching narrative can be played solo or cooperatively, and can be adapted to one-shot adventures or multiplayer campaigns. Customize your characters along the way with hundreds of unique skills, spells, weapons, and accessories immersing you in their story. Everything you need to play, including a neoprene mat, our award-winning terrain, and over 20 exquisitely detailed miniatures, is included in the starter set. Beyond the game, our new Fantasy Dungeon is a modular terrain system suitable not just for Maladum, but for Dungeons and Dragons, or any other fantasy setting. The durable flat pack components simply push together and require no painting, offering quick and easy setup with near limitless map possibilities. From claustrophobic crypts to colossal caverns, dank sewers to grandiose castle interiors, you can create all manner of classic fantasy locations with ease. And there's more. With your help, we can add deluxe components, new miniatures, and new terrain. Whether you're after a new dungeon crawler, you want to take your terrain to the next level, or both. Make your pledge, and enter 
the dungeons of Enveron. Okay, I, uh, that's, that's enough of the video for now, but I was noticing some of the things because I was paying attention a little bit through the video there. And I think they've done what I've seen them talk about and others, and I, I've mentioned it in some videos I've covered before, which is coloring the edges of these terrain pieces. So if it's yellow on the edge, you take a yellow marker and just mark along or brown, black, whatever. And by doing that, you take away that little cardboard-esque look to it. And it makes it look so much better when you get it onto the board. It, it, it brings it together. I've used their terrain for a lot of different stuff before. And the really cool part about it is some of their fantasy terrain, because Battle Systems has a lot of terrain sets. They have futuristic, they have modern, they have um, old style, right? Uh, ancient, they have fantasy now, but it's generic enough that it will work for multiple things. Like I got a, just a run of the mill fantasy village-esque box set. And that village can be used for like Dungeons & Dragons, or it looks good enough that I could use it with something like Bolt Action. And I played it with Bolt Action before. Uh, it's a World War II miniatures game for those who don't know. Because the terrain worked uh, generically enough, didn't have fantasy stuff all over it. So I could use it like a, a, a Japanese village or something like that. Like they were fighting over Marines and, and Japanese Bolt Action. Worked really, really well. So definitely check out their terrain if you haven't. Uh, if you play miniatures games and you need extra terrain pieces, their stuff works so well because uh, it's just the cardboard packs. You punch them out, pu uh, plug them together, the terrain pieces. I would glue it. I use Bob Smith's uh, super glue to put together all my pieces so it stays that way. Uh, but once you put them all together, they're relatively durable for being cardboard pieces. Like it's got this nice laminate across it that actually holds it together pretty well. And it looks good. It looks good. It holds up. I I, I am surprised. But I have used it for, for multitudes of different things. Now, as far as all the pledges goes, this is one of the few where I will get the, the max level pledge. Usually I never do that. But I want everything I can get for this. I want them to dump everything they can into it because I love core space. I love Maladum. I always have, well, not, I can't say I love it yet. I haven't played it, but I love core space. So that's, that's no brainer. If you want everything, it's like 200. Pledge without award. That's dumb. Retailer pledge, uh, about 60 bucks uh, for retailers only. You can get just the terrain set. So if you just want the dungeon, Right, this looking stuff. Because remember, the the stuff that's going to come with the uh, the core game itself, Maladum, is not going to be this multi level stuff. That's going to be in the terrains, the dungeon set. If you want the dungeon sets, about eighty bucks, eighty five bucks, you get the the dungeon pack, any stretch goals, the Maladum, just the core space game, of course, the just the the core game is uh, 120 plus whatever stretch goals. And it looks like they're going to hit a fair amount of stretch goals. Uh, being able to get both for them put together, was that 170? Yeah, so it's not too bad. Uh, da, 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 da. This talks about the, the game. The game's good. I've done so many videos. Check it out. It's, it's easy. It's easy to play. It's easy to branch. You can play it solo. You can play it uh, cooperatively. You can even play it competitively, which I don't know why you would. It's just not really as good, but you can. Uh, you can play it as like Dungeons & Dragons, you know, create your own type stuff. You uh, make your own scenarios. I always make my own scenarios for Core Space. Been having a blast with that for, for a long time. You could do the same thing here. You could use it for whatever type fantasy stuff that you needed, or you can play through this. Now, this is the first time they've actually talked about branching uh, storylines. We'll have to see how good that comes out. I am interested to see how this train piece here looks once it all gets put together, but the I like the look of it. I know they do stairwells well, because I've got um, these staircases rather. Uh, I've got some sets of that for, uh, from their uh, advanced set and then also from their village set for uh, for like a pier. You know, same type principle and went together well, worked well. I haven't put together one of these little rope bridges 
four. So that'll be interesting to see how well it does. Ladders, they work fine. Most of all this stuff is, is stuff that they've made before. It's just different look to it. So it looks like a dungeon. So I don't anticipate them having any problems. This is all, hey, this is how you put together this type of stuff. It's a pain in the ass. But you know, right off the bat, it's a pain in the ass, it takes forever. But once you're done, it looks great. It looks awesome. The only problem is, is you notice here, see how they're kind of putting it together? And there are these overhangs. If you're not careful, if you create your own setup, you can create areas that are kind of hard to get to, right? Because you're supposed to be tacking things on and you're putting little clips on, you're doing what, you know, whatever you're doing. And you can end up where it's hard to get some of the minis that are underneath. I had to make some adjustments because I have to be able to film. So I had to be able to remove pieces so I could actually get, uh, get in there and see what was going on. You guys won't have that, uh, that issue, but works really well. I will give it to them. They have a lot of videos showing how to put together their stuff. I've done some myself. They're a pain in the butt to do, but it does help. You're able to find videos between myself, between them, and between others who have put up videos on how to put together the, the terrain pieces. You'll be fine. You'll find someone who shows you how to do it. And uh, showing you again what all comes with it. The Maladum Core Set. All this happy junk comes in it. And there are some extra heroes as well. Stretch goals are coming in. Uh, they're different player boards. It shows you can use them as characters or NPCs, which is good to go. Their jobs, basically whatever they are, the, the captain, marksman, ranger, whatever. Uh, the Revenant. These look like zombies. So if you got any zombie minis, you have some extras, whatever these things are. Myria, Hell Fonts, a Rot Troll, which looks like the big bad, and then uh, some type of necromancer bad guy. It looks like a little bit of extra, extra bad guys. I like that. This is probably a, a Kickstarter addendum because I doubt these purple things will be included. This looks like a generic set of enemies for something like they would put out. So definitely back on the Kickstarter because you're getting some, uh, some extra enemies to use these wandering beasts. Uh, let's see the vaults of Everon train over a hundred pieces. So yeah. And it's nice because it's neighboring. It's good stuff. Oh, <gasps> Oh, they're including reference cards. That's great. That's a nice improvement. I love that. The reference cards are excellent. The player dashboards, little token pouch, little threat, to the dread tracker. Yeah. Dice, clear plastic range rollers. Yay. They're sticking with that. I did not realize that. Look like cardboard, but that is nice. Campaign book, tutorial booklet. So far, it looks like we've got two extra ones added and these rats so we got two extra heroes not three extra heroes three extra heroes and those split tail rats are they showing up there no so we even got more enemies that's nice bonus equipment please battle systems if you happen to see this i doubt you will but on the off chance that you see this as much equipment as possible right extra 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 equipment you can never put enough equipment uh weapons armor I never have enough. No one ever has enough. Put in extra sheets. Give us the ability to buy extra sheets. I, I want as many of that as I can so I can have a whole bag just full of, of, of tokens and weapons and stuff. Ah, love it. And more stretch goals coming, classes, skills, the human contender. What is that? That looks like a cook with big ass rolling pins. It's going to beat someone into the ground. I love it. Love it. And more bonus events. The event cards. Eh. I've never been uh, huge on the event cards because I like making my own scenarios, but it'll be cool to see what they add to it. Uh, this is the train set that I was talking to you about. They usually give plenty of pieces over 300 components. That's kind of misleading because there are some components that are small, like scatter piece terrain that uh, isn't that big of a deal. So don't think you're getting like 300 pieces of bridges and stairs and, and grand entrances. It's not like that, but you do get a good chunk of stuff. Like you'll, you have plenty of stuff. Trust me, you're not going to be hurting for stuff, especially if you get both, you're fine. And I love this little stuff. It reminds me of uh, Hero Quest, all the little crap you put on there and the little uh, piratey dude talking about replacing your furniture with Hero Quest furniture. The best thing about Hero Quest is this tiny furniture. It is unequaled in all the realms. 
Anyone who owns this furniture but doesn't use it every chance they get, even in unrelated games, is a fool. I myself have begun replacing all of my furniture with Hero Quest furniture. Even the doors. Oh no, Mormons! And looks like there is some unlocked content stretch goals for that. Ooh, I like that little armory piece, little prisoner cage, some extra walls. Uh, what is that, strong room? Prison cell hasn't been unlocked yet, but I, I guarantee you it will be. They are going to do fine. And this shows both sets connected. Tell me that doesn't look great. Tell me it doesn't look great. Uh, more stretch goals to wait on. And sadly, 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 a bunch of other people playing it. Who, not me, because they have bigger channels and I cover mainly war games. But I love it. I love it. It's my stuff. It's my jam. I'm too small. It is what it is. Well, small as in channel, not small as in built. You know what it is. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are some extras. It is nice that you can order extra little pieces, little clips, neoprene mats, uh, furniture pieces, extra wall pieces. So you can order uh, just little little bits and bobs, but I have so much I don't need any of that crap. Shipping. Yeah. That's what I was trying to get down to the UK, not paying as much because they suck. And see, that's that's why they hate me. That's why uh, Battle Systems doesn't like me. It's because they're... They're from the UK and I make fun of the UK too much. Hmm. They're holding it against me. USA, God, this is actually pretty good. $12 or 12 euros. That's, what is that? Like 15 bucks? That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, Alaska and Hawaii suck, but they always suck. Yeah, that's just not bad. That's under 20 bucks. I doubt that. There's no way. There's no way they're doing shipping that damn cheap. Are they really doing? We'll, we'll have to see. But if they pull off shipping that cheap, that's going to be great. Uh, those are stretch goals that we already saw. I don't know why they're showing them in two different places, but cool. More stretch goals. Oh yeah, our, our big cook with her uh, like poundy things, big clothes, rolling pins, pounding the hell out of people. Love that one. Got to get that one. Got to get it. Got to get it painted. All right, Maladam. This is it. I told you guys I was going to put up a video letting you know when. Uh, when is this shit going to deliver? No next year i could be dead by next year knock on wood send it to me now don't make me wait i must have it i must have it in my hands now please i do not want to wait for it but plenty don't want to wait but yeah look uh they've already got like what fifteen thousand, i think they were only like three hundred thousand when i started this video i'd have to look yeah i don't know anyway i backed it y'all go back it it's gonna be good it's going to kick ass. Uh, they've done so much, so much stuff. They've done so good with it, with core space. Uh, I can't imagine them doing badly with this. They would have to really be sticking their heads up their butts uh, to bomb this one. And I, I'm not anticipating that. I'm anticipating very many, very much good stuff from them. All right. They're, they're going to put out. They're going to do well on this one. This, if you're into dungeon crawlers, fantasy stuff, this is one you don't want to miss. All right. That's going to be for this one. I'll stop yapping. I'm just very excited. Cannot wait to get my hands on it. Maybe I'll have to pull out core space, play it a little bit. Try to try to ease down my my antsiness. I got like cardboard crack going on that I want to get on, get my hands on it. All right. You guys take care. I'll catch you in the next one.